Okay, so what you guys are going to do is you're going to get into your H drive and open up your um, Excel document that you created last time, your class last name practice. And what we're going to do is we're going to go through this and we are going to um, create our first Excel thing. Okay, so as we talked about before, these individual things here are called cells. So in cell A1, what I want you to type up here in the formula bar is Marvin's music dollar sign movie mirage okay now you notice right now it's like overlapping all of these and what we're going to do is we are going to um, merge and center so kind of turn it into this is the center of everything okay now up here in your format bar we are going to change the font so pick a font you want and I want you to change the size okay notice when you do that it kind of reformats that entire line okay so now we're going to move on down and do some of our information so for our rows we're going to have CDs oh and by the way you are entering this as we go feel free to pause it and pick it back up okay so see how this one right here this flash drive kind of hangs over the end what you're going to want to do is take your cursor and up here on the A see right now I have a down arrow then I get kind of a crosshairs with arrows on each side if you double click it's going to automatically make the cell big enough to accommodate your largest text okay so now we have our rows now we're going to do our column titles so I have mail order um, store and then by the way I'm just hitting the tab button over or you can click on the next one with your um, mouse web total okay so as you can see here these overlap so we'll want to take our cursor double click double click and go from there okay so now we need to make these a little bit more um, stand out so we're going to highlight all of these and you're going to um, this button up here is a fill color so you can change it to yellow you can change it to gray whatever color you want same thing select the top up here and we're going to fill these in that color okay now I'll start it's time to start inputting some information so the first thing for mail order CDs it was 237 dollars and 34 cents now if I just do this it's just going to be a number format up here you see this right here the number we do a general number or we can do accounting we want it to be accounting because we're specifically talking about money okay for my next one I have 359.54 enter see here how it's changed it to general formatting okay um, flash drives is 297.32 then 831.10 and 125.5 okay so now this top one if I click on this cell you see a counting up here but these other ones when I click on these you see general okay so what you're going to do now is we're going to change the formatting of these so you're going to highlight the rest of these and you're going to change it from a general format to a number format okay oops and that should be 55 okay all right now for this one for total what you're going to do you are going to highlight all of these so you're going to select all of them then over here 
you're going to click on auto sum. What it does is it just you can see right here it displays the sum of selected cells directly underneath. Okay, so if you click on this, now you're going to have a total of $1,850.85. If you pull up your calculator and add all these numbers up separately, 237.34 plus 359.54 plus 297.32 plus 831.10 plus 125.55 equals $1,850.85. Okay, now if you click on this cell right here See how you have an equal sign, the word sum, and these letters right here? This is called a formula. Okay, Equals sum tells you what exactly you're wanting it to, to do, the function that you're wanting. B3 through B7 is talking about B3, which remember we talked about this last time. B3 is where column B, row 3, intersect, colon, through B7. So you're auto summing these. Okay. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and fill in the rest of the numbers that I want you to do. Um, I'll show you that here in a second, and then we'll go from there. Maybe, how do I? Okay, so here you can see the rest of my numbers for um, the music, movies, sold in the store, you got CDs, DVDs, flash drives, videos, other, so here's the store column, here's the telephone column, and here's the web column. You're probably going to want to pause the video so that you can get these in. Okay. The next step that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to find the sum, so you need to find the total of how much was sold in the store. So go ahead and do that. If you can't remember how to do that, remember what you do is you're going to highlight everything here. You're going to go over here and you're going to click on the auto sum. Okay. Same with the next column and the next column. Okay. All right. So now I know my web total sales. But let's say I just wanted to know my total of CDs. Rather than sit here and add them all up individually, you can do the auto sum the same way. Oh, by the way, we do need to go back. And we also need to do some formatting changes. So like over here where we had this 237.34, we changed it to accounting and the rest of these to numbers. You're going to need to do this, that the same way as well. So what you can do is you can highlight all of them. Go over here, down arrow, click on accounting. The rest of these are going to be numbers. Down here at the bottom, since we're talking dollar signs here, this needs to be a dollar sign. Okay. All right, now to get the total, you're going to do the same exact thing that you did for the auto sum, except you're going to go horizontally. So you highlight them across, click on auto sum. Okay. Now, did you see that? When I left it like this, I get all these number signs. That means it's not big enough to show what it needs to show. So you're going to have to go up here and double click to make sure the numbers are large enough to be visible. Same thing. So why don't you go ahead and take a second, pause the video, and I want you to auto sum these three columns. Or rows, I'm sorry. Okay, so now you can see I have my total CD sales, my total DVD sales, my total flash drive, my total videos, and my total other. Okay, so down here you're going to have a grand total. Okay, and this grand total, we want to make sure that everything is in accounting mode. Okay, so your grand total of everything together, auto sum, oops, go back. Oh, shoot. No, go away.
Okay. All right, so down here you're going to want, no. Okay, to get your grand total, what you're going to have to do is we are going to have to input a formula. And when you have a formula, like if you click on here, I showed you what the formula was. You have equals, which indicates to the computer program that it's a formula. Sum, that's the function that you want it to do. And in parentheses, you tell it what you want it to add. Okay? So in cell F8, we are going to do a formula equals capital sum. Okay? Put parentheses. Now, you're going to select this and keep sliding on over till you get highlighted what you want. So you're going to have equal sign sum in parentheses cell B8 colon E8. Okay? So then what we're going to do is test this, see if it works. Enter. So I should have a grand total of $18,869.77 in sales. Okay? At this point in time, you're going to want to save. Okay, so go ahead and click up here on save and then you're going to watch the next video where I'm going to take this through to the chart form. Okay, so hang tight.